Our top story tonight, attorneys representing some of the Valley's high-profile officials and the nation came to Willacy County Courthouse today for indictments, reaching as far as a vice president of the United States. New details have surfaced on the nine indictments handed down by the Willacy County Grand Jury that involve nine high-ranking public officials charged with organized crime. A hearing was scheduled for this morning at Willacy County Courthouse, but was postponed until this afternoon. And attorneys for the nine defendants were prepared to fight. Our Kenny Lopez was in Raymondville throughout the day and joins us live in the studio with more. Kenny? That's right, Cindy on Angel. Things got pretty heated today in court. Defense lawyers wanted indictments to be quashed once and for all. But Willacy County's district attorney, the man who brought all these accusations forth, did not even bother to show up. Um, at the very least, I expected the district attorney to be here. Um, have you had any contact with him today? Judge Manuel Banales says he's disappointed Willacy County District Attorney Juan Angel Guerra was a no-show. The state of Texas is not present, which is a rarity in my experience as a lawyer and as a judge. And I will not conduct a hearing when one of the parties is not present. Without Guerra being there, Judge Banales says it would not be fair. And I will hear any motions that you may wish to present to me in the manner provided by law. So, Mr. Canales, with all due respect, sir, and I respect you highly, that's enough. But defense lawyers for such high-profile officials as I'm Senator Eddie Lucio Jr., District Judge Janet Leal, and Vice President Dick Cheney got heated. Does he know we have a hearing? Can you please find him? But the judge stood by his decision and set an arraignment hearing for Friday, where he ordered a summons for the DA and all public officials named in the indictments to show up. I trust that each and every one of these defendants will appear in this court on whatever date this court sees fit. But lawyers tried to get the judge to waive their client's court appearances. He agreed as long as they filled out the necessary right. paperwork. But after it all ended, the defense was still up in arms. Well, I'm not happy with it. I want to do it today. The DA is not here, so we're stuck. One defense lawyer, Tony Canales, who's representing Vice President Dick Cheney, says these indictments have no validity. It's groundless, frivolous not based on good faith at all. The district attorney is absolutely wrong. And Canales says the major obstacle today was the district attorney's no-show. He should have been here. He's a public official. He's supposed to come to work every day. We were here all day. We've been here since 930. He should be here. News Center 23 called Guetta for his side of the story, but there was no answer. And since he wasn't in court, we couldn't talk to him face to face either. Once again, the arraignment hearing is set for 10.30 Friday morning, and this time the judge expects Guetta to be there.